So the palace lookbook just came out, I think today? Came out today. The, pa the palace one always comes out way before the Supreme one, but a lot of people don't really care about palace for some reason, even though the c past couple seasons, they have just been murdering Supreme and just, palace has just been coming out with a lot of sick shit and a lot of dope stuff that, you know, Supreme just hasn't been able to kind of keep up. But then since Supreme has all that hype behind it, nobody's really gonna be looking at palace. But the ones that are, into street where I like that and not just about the hype, you know. We know what Palace brings. So. And so let's get into this. And this is gonna be like my first time. This is gonna be my first time seeing the lookbook because it did just come out today and I wanna make a video for you guys on my first reaction. So I did see that they have a bunch of stuff, but I just kinda glanced at it, didn't really look, but we have a lot to go through. So let's go and not make this video 20 minutes long. All right, so the first thing we have right here is this Pure Palace Aver X. Jacket, it's in this blue and like this dark blue and baby blue right here and it says Pure Palace right there and all this is a full leather jacket and it, I think I can't really tell what material that is for what they put on the palace but it, this jacket actually looks pretty sweet even though I know the retail is gonna be insane because it is all leather and then on the back you have this sick ass this kind of reminds me of the old UFC logo that they had like years ago but it says pure power, unity, respect everywhere. Palace right there in, in two hands, just holding Palace up. Palace is already kicking it off with a sweet ass leather jacket. Then you have this, I see you have this, this deflector jacket. It's, I think it's, re, it's reflective and it has a trifurg in the back, you know, anything with the trifurg everybody's gonna love. So yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, more, it's not even like a yellow, yeah, kind of more like a, a green yellow or a piss yellow and I think this probably has like three layers and it's not just one big one and yeah it's right here is reflective and it just it kind of looks dead ass ugly so I'm not gonna be looking forward to that and then I'll see when you take a picture like flash with it the the trifurg will pop out more so that's kind of dope but overall that jacket is kind of ass next thing you have is a Sishin bomber in all black this bomber jacket with this hood Right here you have Palace in that, well, hold on. You have Palace in that crazy ass font right there. It looks pretty sweet, actually. It's one of the dope jackets they're releasing this season. And they have it in this, like, white, off-white kind of color. The, this jacket's pretty dope already. So, yeah. And the captions they always have on these things are so damn hilarious. Like, it's just, like, some random dude just trolling. So, I think it's fucking funny. And with this gloss jacket it just this one kind of reminds me of the of the supreme and north face silver jacket that they did and this kind of this blue one and black one kind of like trash bags so that is buns then you have this coach jacket right here and then see i've been seeing this design out like this this design of the trifurg and then there's like jaguar coming out of it and i think that's one of the I think it's one of the dopest designs they have made so I'm looking forward to what else they have this design on, but this coach jacket is already fire right here. They have it in a white, and then and then another black. You have the black on the black trifur and that Jaguar popping out. It's just a sweet ass jacket. Have another jacket right here. Uh, I think this is a denim jacket. It says Palace London on the back. I kind of don't like that stitching on the back. I was like just zigzagged out on. One on each side. I kind of like that. They just had the Palace London on the back. That would have been dope. Next thing we have another obsession net, whatever. Oh, you have the. I don't know how to say per per Sally's shirt. It's a button up. But um, yeah, this is. It, there's in a pink, and this is like kind of like uh, kind of like Greek mythology type thing. And I like that kind of stuff. And when it's displayed on clothing like that, I just think it's super dope. And I, and I always end up liking it. So this is no exception. I like this one, the pink. You have that Colosseum right there, and all the gods and goddesses right there. They have it in a white. Oh damn, the white one is probably the best one right here when it's all fully colored out. That one's dope. This shit. So, yeah, they only have those two. Then you have this right here. This there's a bunch of credit cards on this t-shirt. For some reason, I like it. Even though it's, like, just random. I don't know why. It's just a bunch of credit cards. But, yeah, it's actually pretty dope. And the color that they chose is nice. This, like, beige type color. And then they have it in a blue. But I like the beige better. Then you have the pants that are going to match with that, uh... 
button up shirt that I was talking about and this is just imagine you just come out full fitted out in like that Greek outfit that's gonna be insane and then you have those pants or uh, what else what else I don't really care about the pants because I just don't I don't know why there's this you have this right here this is shit this is ass um, then you have this revealer shell jacket in white and then white, red, and blue. This is actually pretty dope. You have pinstripe palette coming down right there. This actually reminds me of a book bag I have. Hold on, I'll go grab it. Reminds me of this one right here, and it's actually pretty dope. It's actually pretty dope. And if I were to get it, I'd be able to match. So yeah, if I were to get that, that'd be pretty dope. And probably a good ass fit pick. So might have to go for it. They have it in a black right here as well, and then in a navy blue. Yeah, I just think that's a dope one right there. You got a racer jacket right here. Palace on the front with this green stripe on the chest. And then you got, oh, and it actually goes all the way around through the back and on the arms. So that's pretty dope. It says palace right there. And they have it in a white and a blue. And then a red and a blue. A red and a navy blue. I cannot speak, I swear. Probably my favorite one is the navy blue and the red one. Then you got the zero zero hoodie. You got pat. That, actually, that palace the, uh, font right there is actually pretty dope with that leaf over it that i kind of like that color too it's like kind of like a lakers colorway but i don't like basketball so i don't really care for that but the double o on the back then you have it in a red and navy blue i can see they're using a lot of red and navy blue i can see that right now they have this navy blue and yellow that one's dope so yeah that one's a dope jacket okay for that then you got the matching pants right here damn i'm just i'm just thinking about the fit pig that would be I'd have if I were to get that jacket, the revealer jacket and the pants with the ja with the book bag, that that just go hard. Got this dome hoodie right here. Got palace right there in the center of the chest and really small font. Then you have palace on the hoodie and palace on the right arm or right on lower back, I believe. They have a navy blue and then they have it in this gray. Oh the gray the gray one goes hard just because of that. Uh, orange uh, accent right there on the lower on the lower part right there on the right side Yeah, that that gray one went hard. Then you got this Another hoodie right here with the triferg on the back as well I don't want to just keep reviewing jackets because they have a, a fuck ton. And you got this palace crew Crew neck crew neck crew neck. Then you got this whoa, then you got this palace crew neck right here it's kind of a play on the uh, Dallas Cowboys because they just replaced the D with the P. And they have the star right there. And a navy blue, a gray. See, like I said, it's a play on the Dallas Cowboys, I'm sure. And in the in the black right there. That's that's I right. Now we don't really care for it. You got the Tour de Force crew neck right here in this purple. And then the, you got in the white and in the black. This one goes super fucking hard. The purple one goes crazy. I like that one a lot. Then you got this split P3 right here with the triferg in a half pink and a half purple. That's dope as fuck. Let's see what other colors they got. They got white, navy blue, and red. Like I said, I guess that's going to be a theme for this uh, season for them. The, like, the color that they're going to be using a lot. Let's see. Then you got this rugby tee right here. This is insane. Literally, I love how the palette just goes right on the side and it's just like a solid black. And then on the other half of the shirt, it's just like this off-white, this salmon, and this, I think that's navy blue. And bro, this thing was just, just executed so well. Then they have it in this orange one. That one's okay. It's not the it's not the best one, but and then this one's just hideous. This one's fucking disgusting. But yeah, this black one goes crazy. That one's that one's sweet. You have this polo t-shirt right here. This kind of reminds me of that water cup that you that you see on those big like water. It's like real old school water jug things. I can't, I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen because I can't remember. But that's what it reminds me of. And it actually, this Cubes T right here. They have it in the red, this green that I like a lot. This color is really nice. I like this color a lot. I hope they use this color uh, more this season. But, you know, but we're only, I think, halfway through. So let's see if they have any more of that green. I'm in a gray, white, and then black, of course. Oh, and like I, uh, like I was saying before, it cut off. Um, it's, Alice always does a play on, uh, sounding like ice at the end, so they always do a bunch of ice cubes and then or replace the ending with ice, so. Then you have this 
shirt right here. Kind of reminds me of like some really old show, probably in the 70s or something with that font right there. But it goes, this is crazy. I like, like I said, the, the green they have right there. It's nice. They have it in the red and in the white and then the black. The black one and the green one. Probably the red one of my favorite ones of those. So then you have this one right here. I think this one's just hilarious because they're using a black, well, using a blackberry and with just a big P on the screen. I don't know why, but I'm, hold on. I knew it. I knew they'd have the keyboard spelled out like this. Palace skateboards and then just a P on the screen. I'd get that shirt just to, just for meme. I don't know why. I just think it's hilarious. Then you have this Rose P3T. You have a Triferg and then, let me see. And then that statue on the front right there. Just, will you stop fucking moving, bro? And the statue up in the front left chest right there. I was trying to figure out where it was. And then you have it bigger on the back right there. I think there's one of the dope ass shirts. Do you have it in a purple, I think? Yeah. Then in a gray and then in a white. And a black as well. Yeah, this is one of the one of their dopest shirts this season. Then you have hey, there you go. This Triferg and then the Jaguar right there. Dope ass shirt, just like the jacket was. Then this one's no exception, so this shirt's already fire. Then you got the hats right here. I love the way the palace hats fit because my head is so big, unfortunately. But I love it how it just it fits so deep on the head. It's just a perfect fit. And I did have a palace. Oh, I had an FTP hat that fit kind of just like it. It was super deep and like. On the head, and but I lost that hat, so now I just need to make sure I get a palace hat because they do fit so well on my big cranium dome head. You have it in this red right here, the classic P. The brown one, I actually like the brown one, the brown one's nice. The green right there, blue. I'm sure they're gonna have a black coming up. There you go, the black one I was talking about, but yeah, those hats. If you're looking for a hat that fits pretty deep on your head because your head is so big. Like this one, you see how it's like, it's all right, but I, I like it a little bit deeper. Like probably somewhere behind my ear. Make sure to get the palace hats because they do fit so well. From what I've experienced, I'm not sure if they've changed it. I did try on a hat like, I don't know how many years ago, but that hat was fine. They have beanies, I don't really care for socks. Then you have these Chelsea boots. They look like fucking cows. I hate them if they're the different thing. I probably love them because I do love Chelsea boots. So, yeah. Um, then you have the bags right here. Unfortunately, they are all garbage. Like, why do they have it in this camo color? Like, what the f? This white one's a eye. Right. It's a, it's okay, but just the pattern that they chose this year was ugh, it was disgusting. I don't like. It. You have this lanyard, the camo again. Uh, you got the dependent right here with the chain. Hey, they, they had the Blackberry uh, phone. I'll just say iPhone. The Blackberry phone with the P on the screen. That's actually dope as Then you have this other thing. Is a pendant? Oh, it's a badge. A pen. A pen. With this, like, baby carrying the P right there. That's fire. Then you have this, like, Afro comb. If I had that kind of hairstyle, I'd get this. But I probably, I'll probably either just gonna get it just to have on display because this is fire as f You know, we got the fist up like that holding the P that is fire then you got the bottle opener right here yeah the bottle opener right there then you got that then you got a palace whistle just to who knows what you need it for but you know, it's there if you want it so get it you got the stickers they got the skateboards the skateboards are always ah uh, because they're always so weird for some reason like they're just random I did cop two palace skateboards like a year ago if you've seen my videos from since that long ago I did unbox it on here so yeah and then you have palace wax right there in the orange and I think that is it for this season so just what we got from the full range palace look book whatever you want to call it I do think that this palace season is gonna be a dope one like they have been doing for the past couple years just like the last last supreme season was really bad like I don't know what was going on it started off really well and then it just fizzled out and just was trash but this palace but palace has been very consistent it has been releasing a bunch of heat so i don't doubt that this season this season 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 
I don't know if this season will be any different, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I might have to cop some stuff or a bunch of stuff, unbox it for you guys if that's what you guys want to see. Make sure you comment down below, like the video, and subscribe because it does help me out a lot. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I have not plugged myself yet, but now I am. And I will make sure to catch you guys on the next video. I really hope that this video is not like 100 minutes long. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.